Day 38, Gary V, 12 and a half. Leveraging the emotional ingredients for business success. There are 12 of these. I'm doing my push-ups. I'm gonna get at it now. Okay, this is day 38. I'll get close to the camera since I don't have an external mic. Day 38 of 12 and a half. I uh, worked last night, I came home, uh, wanted to go to bed right away, shaved, kind of felt a little sleepy, looked at my phone a little too long, saw some things on YouTube, but still stayed focused, went right to bed. Uh, Went to bed about eight o'clock, pretty close. It is now 10.30. I woke up, had to pee, uh, did that. Thought, well, let me go back to bed, but I laid in bed and my mind was rushing around. My body temperature is high. I thought, you know what? Let me come down here, do these exercises, bang these out, take my cold shower now. Uh, maybe get some tea in me. Uh, 
do the men's 30 day yoga challenge and then run to the gym. I haven't been to the gym. Run to the gym, I'm going to do some squats with just a bar because I'm just starting out. This is my second day at the gym. Uh, and I'm going to do some uh, dumbbells, pick some dumbbells up as uh, heavy as I can grab for one side, maybe about 75 pounds to 80 pounds each hand and walk across the gym a couple times and then do that three sets. See how much I can do her because I need to get my grip and strength. And uh, uh, It's funny when you follow things like this and you try to uh, introduce new things like uh, really consciously work on gratitude, which is number one, self-awareness, which is number two, uh, accountability, accountability with myself, optimism, empathy for others and myself, kindness, tenacity, not giving up, curiosity, being, that helps learning, patience, patience with myself, conviction, conviction that even when you don't feel like it, that you do it, humility, opportunity to laugh at yourself and notice that you're not perfect, ambition, just that drive to do something, to accomplish something, to, to help someone, to, to make a difference, and then kind candor. When someone needs a kick in the butt, when someone needs an honest assessment, and they don't even know it. So anyway, when you do something like this, it's funny how a whole bunch of other shit opens up. So at least that's what's happening for me. And uh, so uh, because I'm on this journey and doing this, I feel a little better, a little different, a little more drive, a little more energy. Um, I'm looking into Athlean X with uh, Jeff. Uh, he's showing you how to do exercises. And I came across Tom Bilyeu again, Impact Theory. I, I all the time talk about him. But he had this female guest on. I can't think of her name. But now I'm following down her rabbit hole. Uh, and uh, what she is uh, saying, she's a doctor, a therapist, a gymnast, uh, a mother now. And uh, uh, she's married to a Navy SEAL. And her father is like 70 years old and he runs five miles a day and he does workouts. And the Jeff at, uh, Cavalier at uh, Athlean X says, when you train, train like a athlete. Uh, that's the best way to train. You can work on certain muscle groups, but what I'm working on is, I used to have a really good grip because I would milk cows uh, when I was a kid. Now I've lost my grip. I've lost a lot of things. I've been worried about my weight. Now I gotta start putting on muscle mass because this lady says that when you're younger, you, we are driven by our hormones. As you get older, you're driven by your, uh, your muscles, your actions, how much you do. At least I think that's what she said. I'll, I'll touch base on that. But anyway, I, I was in bed. I thought, yeah, I could sleep a little more, but I got so much to do. And uh, I have a three-day weekend and so much to do in the three-day weekend. And I might even only have just a two-day weekend because somebody at work may not want to work their overtime that they have. So I will work for them on Sunday day. Um, I could use the overtime. I need the overtime. But at the same time, uh, either way, either way, because uh, I stayed out a day last week in protest of this uh, mandate that they were going to pass. But then they changed their mind, which is good. So now I can work this weekend and maybe next weekend. Anyway, that's what's going on. I'm getting to be chatty and I'm going to go take my cold shower now. Then I'm going to go do men's 30 day yoga challenge to warm up and get warm up. And it is like uh, when I got home, it was minus 11. And so it's sunny out. So when it gets, it's funny here, when it gets real sunny like this and the Arctic winds come in, uh, it gets sunny. And when it uh, gets darker, it gets warmer. It's, it's odd. Anyway, I'm chatty Kathy right now, but this is Bob out. Um, Day 38, getting kind of excited, getting close to the 55 days on on men's 30, on, on uh, Gary V, 12 and a half. And uh, I'm rambling, but uh, seeing good things. I haven't heard from my niece yet. Her mom was in the hospital with COVID-related uh, pneumonia. She's in, they live in Colorado Springs, but uh, she actually is in Denver. Last time I heard, uh, last time I heard it was good news. I've been praying like like crazy. But uh, anyway, last time I heard it was good news. I haven't heard anything in this. So no news is good news. So that's all I can do is just do my part and just stay strong and, and do what I can do. 
and uh, see if I can show that I can still learn, I can still do all of these things, but what will help me, Tom Bilyeu again, who had this lady on, said we are, I don't know if I'm quite quoting this right, but he said we are consciousness having a biological experience. He says, as much as I'd like to say we're just a brain, we, we are a biological experience. We, we have to move. We have to improve. And our ancestors did hard shit. That's why we survived. And so we, it's in our DNA to do hard shit. And if we don't, we kind of just turn to atrophy. Anything that doesn't have effort toward it turns to atrophy. So that got me a new, a new quest for getting in there uh, and working and, and just making a difference in myself, in life, in what I want to do. Anyway, that's it. Bob out.